Flower Bliss, The Sunset Children 4. Are you going shopping now? Asked Archie to his wife. Yes, just going out to get a few things. How long will you be gone? Oh, a good couple of hours. Why? She asked. Oh, no reason. Just curious. His wife exited their stacking and went down the hallway a bit towards the elevator, turning the corner. Oh, bugger, she said. She'd forgotten something that she needed. She decided just to use the kitchen entrance and flicked her card and came in quietly through the kitchen entrance. The music was on and Archie was in the main room. She could peer out and she could see him. But something was going on. She decided not to announce herself and watched as he knelt down and prayed. Lord God, he prayed, you know me, you know me well. I come to you again. I pray for the success of the extended version of Uranus Melancholy. As before, I will offer you a tithe of the profits for the first year's sale and 15 years work in Gretel's soup kitchen across town. You know that I'm faithful to these commitments I make, so I pray grant the new extended cut success and bless me within your will. Amen. And then he got up off his knees and sat on the couch and let the music play. His wife quietly picked up the card which she needed and exited the kitchen entrance without being known. But she knew now she had a secret. He didn't have the Midas touch at all. He had, as it were, the Jehovah touch. A while later, the album was released and his wife was not surprised that it sold, in fact, quite well. And one night, when he announced he was going out for a while, she followed him quietly in the Porsche, across town, up to Chisholm Glory, about 50 kilometres away. And she found him. She kept a distance and saw him in Gretel's soup kitchen, Gretel, a labourer of charity. And she saw him ladling out soup to homeless people. And she smiled. Oh, Archie, your number's up.